This clip will explain how to create a pivot table using Atlas. First step is to place the cursor in a blank cell where we'd like the report to start. Secondly, as a designer, we go for the structured pivot table function. This opens the Atlas user interface. I'm going to select my services X2012. I create my report by firstly selecting my data source. Here I'm going to use the general journal account entry which has my ledger transactions. Secondly, I'm going to filter. Here we have the default fields within AX. You can of course add your own filters. I actually already have a set of filters which have been saved because I regularly use this table. You can actually see this feature in a different video. I've now got my preferred or favorite filters. So I just use the pick button to reference an Excel cell on the spreadsheet. I'm just going to do this for the date and for the AX company, leaving the main account because this will form part of my pivot. I then select the output. I then specifically select the cells I'd like to appear in this output. Also within AX2012, many of the lines relating to the transactional data are in the general journal entry table. So from here I'm going to take the date and also the transaction time. I select OK. I now have my list of outputs. The technique for creating a pivot is to select one of the fields, not an aggregation or a balance field, but an enum, a number or a text. So I'm just going to select the first field which is the cost center. I then right click on my mouse. This opens up the extra functionality where I can group by. So I select group by. I then select the second field. I right click on my mouse. I then select add column basis. This has now created two extra nodes within the report. This effectively gives the instruction to Atlas as I insert to create a pivot. Now that I've got my data into, an, into a pivot, I can then just Use my functionality as I normally would. And build my pivot table to match my requirements.